what's up everyone this is Asadullah Chaudhary today we're gonna look into the keyboard events so let's get started I'm gonna create an input box input type text and the ID is going to be input box on script.js file I'm going to target this input element and I'm hash input box dot key press alert working I use this alert box most of the time just to make sure uh, my script is working properly so let's get get back to our browser and if I type something one it's working okay so I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna display my input in a heading so for this I'm gonna use h1 tag let's go back to our script.js file so this time I'm gonna grab this value grab the input value whatever I'll type that will be grabbed var v equals to dollar this dot val now it's time to put this value inside the heading so all I have to do is to write dollar now it's time to target the heading dot HTML V whatever I'll type that that will be displayed over here okay so now let's go back to our browser and refresh the page I'm gonna type one so here's here's the problem one has not been displayed so now I'm gonna press 2 I'll get to that in a bit I'm gonna press 3 now 2 will be displayed I'm gonna press 4 now 3 will be displayed I'm gonna press 5 and 4 will be displayed so let's talk about it why it's displaying 4 but not 5 always remember when whenever you'll use this function key press the value is grabbed the value is grabbed after the key is down after the key is pressed so that's why the first value has been skipped so whenever we t uh, we uh, press any other key then the first value that was skipped displays so this is why it happens okay so the next event we're gonna use is key down key down refresh key down and key key down and key press both of the events works the same way here you can see both of them works the same way and there there are uh, some differences for example here I'm using the key down event and let me write key down key press okay so this time while pressing the key down button my value will be displayed over here whereas I'll if I'll press the sorry while triggering the key down key down event my value will be displayed over here and while triggering the key press event my value will be displayed right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this code and paste it 
over here and instead of key down I'm gonna use key press and for this part first child last child I mentioned the first child as well as the last child first child means the first heading tag last child means the last heading tag have to use the break tag oh refresh so now let's try this one two three not working there is no error first child why it's not working key down and key press refresh key down and key press okay so this part is not working uh, let's try to make it simple and give it some ID ID equals to h1 ID equals to H2 F1 F2 it's better to use F1 and F2 okay so I'm gonna replace it with hash F2 and here I'm gonna replace it with hash F1 so now let's try this one more time one two three four five six seven so there are some differences between key down and key press events so key press event does not work for alt I'm pressing the alt button it also doesn't work for control uh, let me click over here uh, let me refresh the page okay so I'm pressing the control button it's not working there is no error why it's not working now it's working perfect so uh, I just use the backspace first I type something then I use the backspace the key press ev the key press event did not work for backspace furthermore it also does not work for alt control arrow keys insert home and page and shift the key press event does not work for these keys but the key down event works for all the keys so this is the major difference between them okay so now let's try the key up function key up method the key up method attaches the key up event to this element the selected element which element this the, uh, the element I just selected the one uh, input box okay so I'm gonna remove this I'm gonna remove this as well refresh I'm gonna type I am a programmer it's working 
so this is it for today hope you like the video lesson and if you get if you get stuck you can come back to me i'll definitely help you out all right then take care bye bye